Afternoon, girls. We're going to examine our the last goal we gave up in our game yesterday. It's a it's a pretty good example of some of the behaviors that we need to correct or improve upon in our back line. So um, we'll let the game roll. Obviously, it's, it's a goal never comes from or rarely comes from just an isolated moment. So example of the flow of the game. They win the ball. Now they're looking to switch the point. The left center back gets the ball, plays a ball out to our black back line. Some confusion, it comes through, and they're able to come through and finish. So the first thing we're going to look at here is a still image of the moment the player plays the ball. So as I've highlighted, you can see our positioning of our back line. Um, the big thing here is we're looking at is what does her body tell us as she's winding up to hit this ball? So big stride, big touch. She's telling us that a bigger pass or a longer pass is coming. Um, and the next piece that we look at as this cue is, is being delivered from the player, the behavior of our back line. So as you can see, what's highlighted is we're really flat. We're really flat. And I'll also say that if we go back and look, um, you know, our right back is probably a little too disconnected. Um, again, I know this is a behavior change from some of you. It's less about man marking, but we want to control space. So AJ gets pulled out, really worried about that right winger, and there's a gap created between her and Kuda. So again, here's the cue. She tells us what's going on. Our back line needs to behave differently. So now the ball has been played. And this is the moment where our right center back and our right back have come into the same space. And due to confusion or a lack of like clear winning the ball, the ball gets through. And again, still at this moment, look at the behavior of our back line. Uh, CeCe's at left back, Goose is at left center back, and we're all really flat still. Again, all that does is it allows this one pass to beat all of our players. So due to the mistake, one pass beats us all. So we'll look at the, we'll look at the diagram. Same concept. So what we're going to talk about is we want that two to stay a little bit more connected to our center backs. All that does is it closes the gaps up. So when she hits that same ball, even if Kuda wants to step and win it, there's less space for her to play the ball through us. The next stage, so Kuda stepped forward to win the ball. The other defenders are dropping back and in. What this does is now, if that ball would have gotten through just like it did before, AJ has the ball now coming across her face where she can get out and push the game wide versus letting the ball run in behind her, which is the problem. So again, we want to squeeze in. Ball is played, even if Kuda steps and wins it, the rest of our back line needs to drop it in. So yeah, if Kuda doesn't win the ball freely, we have layers of coverage. And so this one pass will not beat us.